feel like we're ready to play. I uh, had a great uh, closed-door scrimmage, private scrimmage with Kansas a week ago. Uh, another week of practice under our belt, getting ready for Arkansas Fort Smith. Um, you know, the value this time of the year of going against uh, somebody that doesn't know your play calls and uh, know your coverages and not be uh, not as prepared uh, as, as a normal opponent would be. Uh, it's exciting for us. Uh, I think we're going to be about as healthy as we've been all summer long. Hopefully we'll be, we'll be full strength uh, for uh, put the uniforms on uh, our new uniforms. Uh, we've got new uniforms this year. The kids are excited about that. Lacey and Pauline have put together a really cool reveal that'll jump out. I think hitting social media tomorrow uh, and our kids are uh, really fired up to be able to, uh, to play in front of our fans for the first time in a while. Awesome. Um, if you have a question, please use the raise your hand function. Uh, Porter, we'll start with you. Coach, you, this second year in a row, you have scrimmaged Kansas. I mean, what did you learn differently this year, this time around? Uh, I know last year you really emphasized they uh, complimented you on your rebounding. So what, what did you take away from that game? That we've been doing the right thing in the, the strength and conditioning area. We were in great shape. We were game ready to play. Uh, we did not get tired. Uh, we were able to function uh, really well at, at a fast pace. Um, we, we, we showed some depth. We showed some versatility. But the rebounding was really encouraging because they're a very strong rebounding team. Uh, they've got a, a really strong uh, front court presence, and, and we held our own. In fact, did a dominated the glass in, in the first half. So, we learned that. I think we learned that we were in good shape. I think we've learned we've been working on the right things. Uh, and then also just the value of our men's practice team. Uh, we have got an unbelievable group of guys that come in daily. And going against them, I think, had us ready to compete. Uh, we, we weren't going against ourselves. We weren't going against air. We'd been going against a, a really challenging group for, for a couple of weeks. And I think that showed in on that, on that Saturday. Kansas hasn't had their guys, you know, and talking to Brandon, I think that was something that, that really helped us. So we're going to continue to do that. Um, utilizing uh, our, our practice squad a couple of times between now and when we play Pine Bluff, along with this exhibition, you know, with Arkansas Fort Smith coming in, they'll be organized. He's got a really good plan. I really like what Ryan does with those, with his team down there. Uh, they were good for us last year as well. So I hope, I hope this same for We did Kansas and Arkansas Fort Smith last year. We're going to do the same thing this year. And uh, I hope that we, um, that will prepare us for the, the stretch that we've got to open the season. Last thing I got, uh, is, is it too early to tell with Star? The what? Or are you already seeing, I said, is it too early to tell the benefits of starting your practice later on? Or are you already seeing some of that coming into this season? I think it's too early to tell overall. I, I think right now it's all wishful thinking that, that starting later has helped us. But I think we are fresh. I think our kids had some freshness about them, some excitement to still show up. Um, it, it, it doesn't start to get monotonous or mundane. Uh, so it's all still relatively new. Then I, I also think at the end of that, even though we started later because of our small numbers, I think we're as far along as we normally are this time of the year going into the opener. Uh, we've actually got two inbounds plays instead of just one. Uh, so we can really trick people uh, with a second inbounds play if we need to. We normally are putting that in last minute. But I think even with the late start, we've, we've accomplished the stuff we need to. You're, you're never going to be ready. It, I mean, if it comes down to a last second show, we haven't worked on very many special situations. But hopefully the things we've worked on will allow you not to have to worry about special situations. Um, this early in the year, but I, I think we've passed a couple of benchmarks speaking to what you're asking. And, and I, I'm hopeful that it continues to stay on the path that we made the right decision to start a little bit later. Coach, is it too early to ask what lineups are going to look like? Yeah. I mean, I don't know because I don't know who's showing up for practice here in about an hour and a half. It, it's, we're still in that, um, the, the world of, of sickness and, and things. So I don't know who we'll start. Um, I think our rotations are pretty clear, but it will all determine on who we start. I, I think we've got uh, a, a really solid nine players that have, have kind of separated themselves and ready to compete for those 200 minutes that are out there. I think combinations will still be a, a work in progress. 
I mean, I've got in my mind what I would like for it to look like to start. Um, but I, I won't know that for sure until probably game time on Wednesday. Yeah. Would, would we be able to talk about rotations? Sure. Yeah. What, what are those going to look like? Uh, versatile, long. Uh, you know, I'm, we've moved Sam and Mac both into the, the top of our offense. I think that's the first thing that, you know, normally we've had somebody like Chelsea bringing the ball up the floor with, with either Sam or Mac. Well, now we're bringing with, uh, up with those two. And it gets on you in a real hurry with those two at the top. Uh, so then you've got, uh, you know, Aaron Barnum's playing at a really, really high level. Uh, now coming back full speed. I uh, look for her uh, to be back to where she was prior to her injury last year. Uh, Jersey's going to look like a different kid to y'all, I think, when you see her. Um, you know, you add Marion to that mix, and now you've got a, a presence in there alongside of Aaron that can defend. Um, and then the size that Sailor brings us on the perimeter, um, she can score around the basket, but she can score outside the arc. She can get to the free throw line. And then a veteran like Chrissy Carr jumps in there, you know, and all of a sudden you've got another six foot, six one long um, disruptor that can score. And y'all all know what Riley Langerman is going to bring us. Riley is uh, just continued to expand her game. I just uh, ran the stats. Uh, from our preseason, uh, she's made the second most number of threes of anybody we have on our team uh, through about a thousand shots, which is a pretty large sample segment. So she's uh, added what she's done. Uh, we challenged her during the offseason to, to to really make one more shot in every drill that she ever did. And, and she took that to heart. You all know Riley well enough to know that if you set her out on a task, she's going to accomplish it. Um, so, you know, you've got a mix there. You've got three newcomers with Miriam and Sailor and Chrissy uh, in with those six that you've kind of been used to seeing uh, in the past. So that, that gives us a good rotation. I'd like to play in, you know, three and a half, four minute stretches if we can early um, so that they can get into a flow. I don't like, you know, subbing every minute or hockey line changes. So um, Wednesday night, you'll, you'll be able to see the first, the first quarter. That'll hopefully look like what our first quarter will look like. Uh, all the way through our preseason. Dudley, go ahead. Can y'all hear Dudley? All right, how about I didn't hit the mute then. Oh, yeah. Dudley wins the prize. Yes, let me, I did. Let, let me get my bingo card out. All right, Dudley, I got you. <laughs> How nice is it to uh, not have to just look over at uh, Sailor and Miriam on the bench and be able to put them out there? Uh, a lot of fun because I tried to several times last year. Uh, I know when those moments would have happened. Um, first of all, they they love playing. Both of those kids play with a a smile and a and a vibe about them uh, that you just. I, I'm anxious for our fans to see it. I really am. Uh, Marion played really well in the exhibition. Um, Sailor is going to be the oldest freshman in the country. She does not look like a freshman, although she is. She played – this will be her first official game, okay, the exhibition in count. So she hasn't played in a game since January of her junior year of high school. Okay, count that back. That's a long time for a competitor to be setting out. And she played really, really – I hope she plays as well in, in Bud Walton as she did in our practice gym against that scrimmage. She played really good. Um, for, for our team, so – so Dudley, it, it gives us size that we've never had. I mean, Jersey was a, a warrior last year playing out of position for us. Miriam's used to playing around the basket and blocking shots and defending bigs. And her presence was felt immediately against Kansas as all packed, all big 12 performer. So, and then Sailor is just uh, because of the position she plays, she's going to have a matchup problem most nights, even when we get into the SEC. So. Fun that they, first of all, get them off our bench because they were a pain in my side on the bench over there because they were, uh, they were so, both so eager to play, not in a bad way, in a good way, but uh, fun that they're going to be included in that. And, and I, I think our fans are just going to love them both. 